What's up, growth hackers? So today we're gonna review Scrapey. This is a AppSumo deal right now. It's an SEO tool claiming to be AI. Right now I see most tools are using the buzzword AI. So we'll actually see if this is it. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So again, if you guys don't know, I'm a an angel investor. Uh, I've made over $50 million on my own store. So I know a thing or two about business. So when we analyze these projects, I'm looking for uh, certain things like world-class copywriting design, um, seeing if they can scale, doing some quick research, and then obviously testing the tool. So let's check out the AppSumo deal. So this has been on AppSumo for a while now. You can tell by the 825 reviews for about four and a half or five stars, uh, one-time purchase of $49. So let's check out the deal itself. So looks like you get, so let's just skim through this real quick, 10 websites and 8,000 credits. And you can stack up to 10 codes. Each code adds more projects and credits. So yeah, you can see that. So I just got the, the basic one. And if I like it based on this review, then I will upgrade, but Next thing we like to do is take a look at the actual question. So I did ask a question here, whether it works well with Shopify. I asked that yesterday and the good sign is that somebody actually replied today. So when you do look at AppSumo deals, there are a lot of them that are shit and will eventually die. Um, so this is the reason we're going to do, we're going to show you how to do the, uh, research for this. So, uh, let's start by looking at the reviews. Again, there's so many, there's actually more reviews and there are questions, which is good. And again, mostly five stars. You can just skim through this lots of lots of positive reviews which is great so you can also sort by the ones that are less like less stars i wish it would let you search by the ones that are one star but you have to just sort by uh ascending so support is non-existent which i don't know if it's true because yeah we'll actually see once you go into the tool a good way to test it is actually ask support a question and see how they reply are they polite and do they respond quickly are the two metrics that i look for but you can see when i did ask a question here it took a day to get a response so here it says reports from script are inconsistent or compared to google lighthouse okay interesting or to hear that lighthouse analysis are constantly performed on different servers okay so the very um detailed review uh looks like they did their research which is great or sorry, feedback, not review. Um, it doesn't even work. I bought 10 codes and can't auto scan the websites. Huge discrepancies in Lighthouse again. Okay, so that's not good. Two, two uh, Lighthouse comparison issues. Let's see, first time crawler found eight pages. Okay. Surface, it looks great, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we don't have to just read the negative reviews again. You can see there's probably more, there's more positive reviews than less. Let's take a look at some of the questions. Since I'm not happy about your support, so that's not good. Another complaint about support. And again, these, these would be quite recent. Yeah, this is a recent. Okay, this person's getting an air, air Japanese person. Hey, they're working on a roadmap. That's not a good sign. Let's just comment. Maybe they'll, they'll... That's not a good sign at all. Working on a roadmap and they've been around for a while. Okay, so we'll leave that comment, see if they reply. Okay, so that's it. Let's move on to the website itself. Again, you guys know that I love to break it apart based on copywriting design, as well as how they market it. So AI based page speed monitoring, lighthouse monitoring. Okay, so that's interesting. They're saying they're lighthouse. W3C monitoring website analysis. Okay, so again, AI based is a little bit of a buzz term. Let's see if they actually are. Let's scroll down. No need to be SEO experts to gain more. Okay, not the best copywriting. Meet your tool set powerful yet easy to master. Okay, so I don't think this is a native English speaking team. Could be wrong. Yeah, not loving the website. I feel like it could be done better. All the action buttons are all different colors, which is not the best either. Okay. 
Not that bad. Let's check out how many people are actually coming to this. You can use a tool called SimilarWeb. Okay, so monthly vis visits is not that high when you compare it to other tools that are getting anywhere hundreds of thousands. This one's got 83,000, and uh, but the bounce rate's pretty low, which is good. Let's take a look at the plans and pricing. So here you can compare the monthly plan. You get 8,000 credits. So this is $15 a month and we paid $50. So this times uh, 10 times 12, it's about maybe like $180 uh, So versus a lifetime deal. So $180 a year and the lifetime deal is you saw $50. So we're getting a good deal regardless. Okay, so you can test it out. So why should I subscribe to Scrapey? I always recommend companies provide the reason why they're better than competition just so that people can easily make a decision so they're saying other website tools are too complex in ui and we'll actually get to that uh, because i'll show you in a second their number one competitor right now so again when you're on the website i like to have a play button which they don't have with the founder talking about the product and as well as what makes them better those are really the only two things they need to talk about okay let's move on to their social media so you can type in scrapey on youtube just to do some quick research again all of this should take you less than half an hour to do some quick research and decide whether you want to test the tool or not before trying it i've already done this research obviously which is why i'm doing this review so here it says scrapey and you want to see if there's actually recent uh reviews on this so this guy did a review a month ago this guy three weeks ago and yeah so you can watch a couple of these and then the next thing you're going to want to type in is versus and see what their biggest competitors are so you have to know that SEM rush is probably the the gold standard so you can watch a couple of videos on this review and then you want to review ones based on like the top one so labrica right now is on lifetime deal i just did a video on that so make sure you like and subscribe and check that video out labrica was actually quite complex in the ui but i actually gave it a four and a half stars out of five um super detailed and i absolutely love the software so really we're gonna see if scrapey does just as good of a job as labrica and one of their main features as you saw was that this the ui was simpler so i think i've watched a couple of these already this guy says that labrica is way better so we will see and there was another guy that said he likes scrapey better but he didn't mention why and it was probably because the ui is probably just easier so there you can do some quick research there also i don't see that scrapey has a a um an actual account on here and what you like to see with deals that are on lifetime deals is that the the team is actually putting out consistent social media posts specifically on youtube because if they don't then most likely the software is not going through either bug fixes or more importantly uh improvements so a lot of these lifetime deals they'll just they'll, yeah sure they might fix some of the bugs but they'll never improve the tool so i'll never be able to compete in the future sometimes they're just quick cash grabs so all right so again i'm testing the tool for the first time i just logged in and this is no experience whatsoever so you guys will probably get a chance to go through this with me as well so name uh let's go one of my companies is scarflings and scarfling okay let's see okay let's see how long this takes Labrica actually took, I think, about an hour. So I'll pause the video. Okay, so we are back. That took about half an hour, uh, which isn't bad for the first time using it. Um, so site health is 78. There's no ranking SERP results. Crawled pages, only 73. So I don't know why there's only 73 crawl crawled pages. I'll have to take a look at that. Maybe it's the plan I'm on. Uh, images 50 but it only crawled 73 we have thousands of pages um so yeah meta description so it looks I, I like the ui it's very simple to read uh much simpler than labrica but i will do a full scrapey versus labrica video so make sure you guys like and subscribe so you guys can check that video out and then uh i'll likely refund one of these tools and keep the better one so Let's check out this. So meta description tag is missing. That's amazing. You can see this. It tells you what this is and how to fix it. This is really good, especially if you're new. So it says meta descriptions have not been proven to have a direct impact on SEO. However, in the search engine 
results page, users definitely take a look at this area before deciding what they want. So you definitely want these optimized. Um, so here you can see the different links and you can show a report. Okay, so this report's quite detailed. Wow, what is this? Okay, this is a little bit much more information than I need. I don't know what that was. Like, I was expecting to see the report just, just for this. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's no actions either. That's broken. Not, not loving that. Um, yeah, I guess you just have to go to each individual one of these and just fix these issues like meta description is too short, all this stuff, all the issues. Twitter card incomplete? I don't know what that means. Click on that. Okay, not too sure what that means. So that one did not have a description. The H1 tags missing or empty. That's an obvious one to fix. Okay. So some a little bit confusing so far. Um, would you like to analyze more pages for free? Staying. Okay, let's go to the issues. So that was the overview when the issues. You can filter here by actual issues. I don't know what that means. All issues. Like what's an actual issue? Don't love this. Again, you guys saw that when I analyzed the homepage. I don't know if this is a native English team. So we have warnings. And notices. Similar to what I used with Longtail Pro when I used the site audit feature. Um, but again, both of these softwares, like for Longtail Pro, they haven't even activated my license. This one, I don't know which plan I'm on right now. Let's actually check it out. 10 projects. So I should be able to analyze 8,000 credits. Analysis credits, I don't know what that is. But basically, I don't know why it only scraped a couple of my pages. Yeah, I'm just glad there's no uh, big issues, but it's kind of strange. Crawled pages 73, that seems weird. I might ask support. Let's see, again, this is a great test to see how long support takes and how polite they are and how accurate they are. So why did it only crawl 73 pages on my website, scarflip.com? We have thousands. Okay, let's see. Maybe they'll even reply on this uh, video. So. Uh, they're probably not online right now during this time, but we will see. All right, next we have SERP, Rank Tracker. No keywords have been added, so let's add some keywords. Scarf, luxury scarf, silk scarf, wool scarf, best scarves, select a country, the United States, one, desktop mobile save. 10 keyword analyze started. Okay, so poor grammar as well. Not loving this. Poor grammar is not a good sign. Okay. So there's no progress bar or anything. That's kind of strange. All right, page speed. Let's check that out. This is a good one to see. Okay, no data found. The table will be automatically updated when new data is detected. Not sure. So let's go scarflink.com. On this period, okay. Monitoring, reanalyze. 
analyze started. It should say analysis started. It should show you like a progress of it. So this is what people are complaining about with the lighthouse report being not accurate. So I guess we'll see. Okay, let's move on to links, all links. Okay. Figure what to do here. Do follow links. Okay. What's your reason for contacting us? Well, we just wrote it. What's your reason for contacting us? Asking a question. That was a weird delay. Did you search for your question on the help desk? Yes, I hate these things. Oh. Yeah, give me to a real person. Great. Okay, uptime. See if this works. Average response time. Standard period, five minutes. Uptime. Okay, so I guess this will just monitor it. What's disabled mean? Enable uptime monitoring. Enable uptime notifications. Okay, that's cool. So if your website ever goes down, it'll let you know. That's an amazing feature. I don't believe Labrica had, but again, I'll have to check that if we do a review video. Okay, so that's cool. Now you see it's active, that's great. Go back to the page speed, get done analyzing it. Report. Hey, here we go, performance 31, speed index slow. Does it give you ideas on how to, uh, buttons do not have an accessible name. Okay. So a lot of this is too technical, but at least you'll be able to, I'm assuming export this and just go on Upwork and hire somebody to fix this. Yeah, I'm not sure. Go back to the SERP, rank tracker, see if that's done. So none of these are found on the pages, that's fine. I click on it. Okay, current position 100 plus. Error. Takes a while to load. It does show you some okay information, like the title. Yeah, it's okay. Let's go back to the crawler. Scarf thing. Analyze, enter a valid URL, let's do that again. Not the best UI so far. Okay, so let's analyze that. Tent. Yeah, I'm not loving this. I might have to watch a tutorial video, but it's not too intuitive. You can see some of the issues that we're facing. So right now, Labrica takes the cake for me, um, but I will do a full review soon. So right now, I would give Scrapey a 3 out of 5. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you.